hello students so in this video we are going to cover test series 5 and the subjects which are related in this test series are ancient indian history art and culture and medieval india so let's start with the first question so the first one is therigatha is one of the very few surviving ancient texts indian texts attributed to women so the text is associated with so it is Buddhism, option A. Second question, the illustrated manuscript of the Nimat Nama, a blend of Indian and Persian styles, is an. So, it is a crookery, cookery book at the time of Giyasuddin Kilji. The third one is, with reference to Chola rulers, consider the following statements. So, First topic, uh, first statement is Raja Raja Chola assume the title of Gangai Konda Chola. So the first statement is wrong because it is not Raja Raja Chola. It is Rajendra Chola. Sorry, Rajendra 1. So Rajendra 1 has assumed the title of Gangai Konda Chola. Next, uh, second statement is Rajendra Chola 1 destroyed the Chera Navy at Trivandrum and later captured Madurai with the capital of Pandyas. So here it is not Rajendra Chola one. Here it is Raja Raja Chola. The Raja Raja Chola has destroyed the Chera Navy at Trivandrum and later captured Madurai, the capital of Pandyas. The third statement is the Chola rulers marked their victories by erecting temples and having inscriptions written on walls of these temples. So, the third statement only is the correct answer. So, option A is the right one. Fourth question, consider the following statements regarding Firusha Tughlaq. So, the first statement is, he exempted Brahmanas from payment of Jizya. So, the first statement is wrong because Firusha Tughlaq uh, only exempted the payment of Jizya for women children and disabled who had no means of livelihood only for them he has exempted jizya the second statement is he took steps to have hindu religion works translated from sanskrit into persian so second statement is correct so uh, only second op option b is correct and here um, firush shah tughlaq only has made jizya a separate tax Fifth question, recently seen in news, Kwar Hydro Project and Ratley Hydro Electric Project are proposed to be built on which one of the following rivers? So, the Kwar Hydro Project and Ratley Hydro Electric Project are proposed to build on China River. Sixth question is, with reference to Pandya dynasty during the Sangam age, consider the following statements. The first statement is Pandyas are mentioned by Megasthenes in his text and highlighted the matriarchal influence on the Pandya society. The second statement is the Pandya territory occupied the southernmost part of the Indian peninsula with its capital at Kaveri Pattanam. So the first statement is correct but the second statement is wrong because that Pandyas has occupied the Pandyas territory occupied the southernmost part of Indian Peninsula with the capital at Madhu Madurai. So, second, only first statement is correct. Option A is the right answer. Seventh question, which of the following temples is or are dedicated to Lord Shiva? So, the first statement is the Papnath Temple at Pattadakkal. So, the Papnath Temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. Second statement is the Brihadishwara temple of Tanjavur. It is also dedicated to Lord Shiva. Uh, and the third statement is the Lakshmana temple of Kajuraho. So only the Lakshmana temple of Kajuraho is dedicated to Lord Shiva. Only option B is the correct answer. Eighth question, it is an important cave site having many images belonging to Vajrayana Buddhism. Buddhist caves are big in size and are single, double and triple story. The Brahmanical caves have many sculptures and Ravana shaking Mount Kailash is one of them. So which of the following cave sites is being described by the above given passage? So it is Ellora caves. Ellora cave sites have been discovered. So 
Eloro caves have the Vajrayana Buddhism type of images and uh, Ravana shaking Mount Kailash is one of them. Ninth question is which one of the following countries are the members of Antarctic Treaty? So Australia, Russia, Ukraine and India are given. So here uh, in the Antarctic Treaty there are 12 only original signatories later on some other countries have also joined but the 12 original signatories are Argentina, Australia, Belgium, Chile, France, Japan, New Zealand, Norway, South Africa, UK, US, Russia, India and Ukraine. So these are the 12 signatories which has signed the Antarctic Treaty originally. So Antarctica, Ukraine, Russia, India all these are present. So option D is the correct answer. Tenth question. With reference to Ziyarat in Sufism, consider the following statements. So first is statement is, it refers to the practice of pilgrimage to the Dharga of the Sufi saint on his death anniversary. So first statement is correct. Second statement is, the practice started during the times of Mughal rule in India. So the second statement is wrong because the practice has already there, already in practice even during the Mughal period. So even before the Mughal period, the practice was there. So second statement is wrong. And the third statement is the practice has direct relevance to the evolution of Kavali. So only one and three statements are correct. Option B is the right answer. 11th question with reference to Chisti Silsila, consider the following statements. So the first statement is Chisti saints did not believe in leading a life of austerity and accepted the service of the state. So first statement is wrong because the Chisti saints led a, le uh, led a life of austerity and accepted the service of the state. Okay, so first statement is wrong. Coming to the second statement, activities of the Chisti order were confined largely to Punjab and Multan. So second statement is correct. The third statement is Hamid Uddin, Uddin Nagori was a well-known saint of Chisti order. So the third statement is wrong because Hamid Uddin Nagori was well-known saint of Suharwardi order. And the well-known saints of Chisti order are Nizamuddin Auliya and Nasiruddin Chirag e Dhalli. So these were the well-known saints of Chisti order. So only second statement is correct. So it is not there in the option. So option D is the right answer. Twelfth question, consider the following statements regarding hepatitis B. First statement is, it is a bacterial disease. So the first statement is wrong. The hepatitis disease is a viral disease. It is caused by HB virus. And the second statement is, um, it is an infection in the liver that can cause jaundice. So second statement is correct. Coming to the third statement, at present there is no vaccination available against this disease. So there is a vaccination available for this hepatitis B. So only second statement is correct. So option B is the correct answer. Thirteenth question, consider the following pace. So Indus Valley sites are given and rivers are given on which they are located. So we have to choose the correct pairs. So the first pair is Mo Mohenjodaro. So Mohenjodaro is located on the river Indus. Harappa is located on the river Ravi and Kalibangan is located on the river Gaggar and Hakra. So third pair is not correct. Oh, so first and two statements are only correct. So option B is the correct answer. Fourteenth question with reference to King Harshavardhana of Vardhana dynasty consider the following statements. The first statement is King Harshavardhana was a founder of Pushyabuti dynasty or Vardhana dynasty during the 7th century AD. So, the founder of Pushyabhuti dynasty is not Harshavardhana, it is Pushyabhuti itself. So, first statement is wrong. 
Coming to the second statement, Fahian, a famous Chinese traveler, visited India during Harshavardhana period and studied at Nalanda University. So, it is not Fahian. Second statement is also wrong. It is Huan Sang. So, second statement and first statement are wrong. Coming to the third statement, he defeated Chalukyan king Pulakesin II and extended his kingdom beyond the Narmada river to the south. So, here... Um, Harshavardhana did not defeat Pulakesin II. Pulakesin II has defeated Harshavardhana. So, third statement is also wrong. So, none of the above are correct. So, option D is the correct answer. Coming to 15th question, consider the following statements in the context of ruler of Bahamani kingdom. So, first statement is he was a good calligraphist and a poet and often composed extempore verses. Second statement is he was a contemporary of King Devaraya I of the Vijayanagara kingdom. The third statement is he encouraged the pursuit of astronomy and built an observatory near Daulatabad. So, he is Firusha Bamani. So, option B is the correct answer. Sixteenth question, Kalpa Sutra and Kalakacharya Katha, the two very pro popular texts belong to which of the following sects? So, it is related to the Jainism. Coming to seventeenth question, in the context of Mauryan age, the term Sannidata refers to. So, Sannidata is the chief custodian of the state treasury and the storehouse. Option B is right answer. 18th question, consider the following statements about Zapti and Dahasala system. So, first statement is under the Dahasala system, the average produce of different crops as well as average prices prevailing over the last 10 years were calculated. First statement is correct. Coming to the second statement, the Dahasala system was further developed uh, further de was the further development of the Zapti system. So, second statement is also correct. Coming to the third statement, the Zapti system is also known as Thodarmal's Bandobast. So, even the third statement is also correct. So, option D is the correct answer. All these statements are correct. Coming to 19th question, who was the main expounder of the Lokayata philosophy? So, it is Charvaka. Option C is the correct answer. 20th question, with reference to the teachings of Buddhism, which one of the following statements is not correct? So, Buddhism does not recognize the existence of external soul. This is correct. Buddhism does not believe in the theory of rebirth. So, only this is not correct because Buddhism do believe the theory of rebirth. And according to Buddhism, attainment of Nibbana is the ultimate goal. And Buddhism does not recognize the existence of God. So, here option B is the correct answer. 21st question. At which of the following Jain shrines, the famous statue of Gomateshwara is located? So, it is located at Shravana Belagola. Gomateshwara statue is located at Shravana Belagola. Option B is correct. 22nd question with respect to administrative units of the Vijayanagara Empire. Arrange the following in ascending order in terms of size. So, first it is Grama. Next it is uh, Sthala and then Mandalam. Sorry, and then Nadu and then Mandalam. So, 3, 2, 1, 4. Option A is the correct answer. 23rd question, Bhakti sect and Bhakti literatures are given. So, Nayanars. Nayanars uh, literature is Tevaram. First pair is wrong. Alvar's literature is Nala, Nalayira Divya Prabandham and Vaish, Vaishiva's literature is Vachanas. So, only third statement is correct. Option B is the correct answer. 24th statement question. Consider the following statements regarding Chaityas and Viharas. So, Viharas are where the places of congregation and worship. 
first statement is wrong because the places of congrega congregation and worship is chaityas and coming to the second statement it is the viharas viharas are the places of residence of monks third statement is in the cave tradition of west western india the presence of stupa at the back of the chaitya was a common feature so only third statement is correct option c is the correct answer 25th question hori kajri and sohar are the regional folk musical traditions of which of the following states so these are the musical traditions of uttar pradesh option c is the correct answer 26th question with reference to sufism and its related practices consider the following statements so the first statement is sufis are the saints who traveled all over the world to spread the prowess of the caliphate so the uh, first statement is wrong coming to the second statement they established rules of spiritual conduct and interaction between inmates as well as between lay persons and the masters in the sufi khanqas so second statement is correct coming to the third statement kalan kalandars madaris malangs haidaris are some of the sufis who compiled all the sharia laws and propagated the same to their followers so third statement is also wrong so only second statement is correct option b is the correct answer 27th question with reference to chalcolithic age consider the following statements first statement is people were aware of the art of writing during this period and used pictographic graphic script so the first statement is wrong because people were not aware of the art of writing in the chalcolithic age so only uh, so first statement is wrong coming to the second statement the chalcolithic people cultivated rice and wheat second statement is correct third statement is during this age copper was used by the people so third statement is correct so only option c is the correct answer 28th question with reference to the shatavahana dynasty in the deccan region consider the following statements the first statement is shatavahana kings were the first rulers to grant tax free lands to buddhists and brahmanas to gain religious merit so first statement is correct coming to the second statement shatavahana kings claimed to be brahmanas but they rejected the full four varna system and promoted social equity second statement is wrong because they described themselves as brahmanas but they established a fourfold varna system not they did not reject they established a fourfold varna system so second statement is wrong coming to the third statement shatavahana dynasty was founded by gautami putra shatakarni by defeating the kanva dynasty in the post mauryan era so second third statement is also wrong because shatavahana dynasty was founded by simuka so only first statement is correct option a is the correct answer 29th question consider the following state pairs of sangam text along with their themes so sangam text is given and theme is given so tholkappiyam tholkappiyam is a grammar and poet poetics of sanskrit so the first pair is wrong tirukkural is given tirukkural is the philosophy and tirukkural theme is philosophy and wise maxims so even tirukkural pair is not correct next is manimekalai manimekalai is related to the theme of adventures of kovalan and madhavi's daughter so only third statement is correct so option c is the correct answer 30th question in the context of sarnath school of sculpture consider the following statements regarding the seated buddha so the first statement is it represents dharma chakra pravartana second statement is the buddha is shown seated on the throne of padmasana so both these one and two statements are correct coming to the third statement the roundness of cheeks is similar to the earlier images from the kushana period at mathura 
so the third statement is wrong because the roundness of the cheeks is reduced when compared to kushana period at mathura so only one and two statements are correct option d is the correct answer 31st question india has a rich and ancient tradition of string puppets or marionettes which of the following belongs to the tradition of string puppetry so kathputli is a string puppetry of rajasthan gombayatta is a string puppetry of karnataka bommalattam is a string puppetry of tamil nadu but here ravanchaya is a shadow puppetry in odisha so only one two three statements are correct so option b is a correct answer and another string puppetry in uh, odisha is khudai kundai so yes coming to the 32nd question this is the last of the scorpion class submarines under the p75 project it is named after the sandwich sandfish and uh, a deep sea predator of the indian ocean it is a diesel tank submarine designed to perform sea denial as well as access denial warfare against the adversary so it can do offensive operations across the spectrum of naval warfare including anti submarine warfare anti submarine warfare and uh, intelligence gathering mine laying and area surveillance so this is most likely the description of ins waksheer option b is a correct answer 33rd question with respect to the agricultural land during the mogal period which of the following pairs is or are correctly matched so polaj is the land under continuous cultivation first statement is wrong first pair is wrong second is banjar banjar is a fallow land left for longer than 2 to 3 years second pair is correct third is chachar chachar is a fallow land for 2 to 3 years so banjar is left fallow for more than 2 to 3 years chachar land means it is a fallow land which is left for 2 to 3 years parati is the Uh, it is the land left uncultivated to retain its fertility so one and four statements are wrong only two and three are correct so option c is a correct answer 34th question with reference to the tripartite struggle of the medieval history consider the following statements so the first statement is it was fought between pratihara rashtrakuta and pala dynasty the first statement is correct coming to the second statement the three kingdoms fight for the control of malwa region so it is not malwa region it is kanwa uh, it is the kannauj region so the second statement is wrong so only first statement is correct option a is a correct answer fifth 35th question recently seen in news state energy and climate index is released by which one of the following organizations it is released by niti aayog 36th question with reference to social conditions during sangam age consider the following statements so first statement is civil and military officers officers were held under both cholas and pandyas by rich peasants first statement is correct coming to the second statement the pariyars were agricultural laborers who also worked with animal skins and used them as mats second statement is also correct third statement is there were sharp social inequalities during in this period so all these statements are correct related to the sangam age option d is the correct answer 37th question consider the following statements regarding pahari school of painting so the first statement is the earliest center of painting in the pahari region was basoli so first statement is correct second statement is the kangra style developed out of gula style so even the second statement is also correct regarding pahari school of painting so option c is a correct answer 38th question with the which of the following were the major political centers of the mauryan period so the first uh, toshali ujjaini manya ket taksila suvarnagiri were given so 
except manyaket all these are the political centers of mauryan empire so 1 2 4 and 5 are the correct answers option c 39th question recently national panchayat raj day and uh, was celebrated on 24th april so in india which of the following state was the first state to implement the panchayat raj system it is rajasthan balwant rai committee has recommended it and it is three tier panchayat raj system 48th question with reference to the mauryan empire consider the following statements first statement is mauryan empire was founded by chandragupta maurya it is correct the second statement is the sudarshana lake at girnar was built during mauryan rule second statement is also correct third statement is the mauryan dynasty was succeeded by the shunga dynasty in the north india so all these statements are correct so option d is the correct answer 41st question consider the following structures standing buddha sarnath vishnu ananta sheshaye diogar two life sized terracotta images of ganga and yamuna originally installed in the shiva temple at ahichatra so all these statements are correct so 1 2 3 option a is the correct answer for the second question this dance form is characterized by the graceful swaying body movements with no abrupt jerks or sudden leaps it belongs to lasya style which is feminine tender and graceful the footwear is not terse and is rendered softly importance is given to the hand gestures and mukhabiyan mukhabinaya with subtle facial expressions movements have been borrowed from nangiyar kutu and female folk dances koi kot kottikali and tiruvattikalli so it is mohini attam option c is the correct answer for the third question with reference to heat waves in india consider the following statements option first statement is heat wave is considered if the maximum temperature of the station reaches at least 30 degrees celsius or more for the plains so first statement is wrong because when the uh, heat wave is considered maximum if if the temperature maximum temperature reaches at least 40 degrees celsius in the plains and 30 degrees celsius in hilly regions so first statement is wrong coming to the second statement orange alert is issued by india meteorological department for the states to take action about the heat waves immediately so it is not orange alert second statement is also wrong it is the red alert so both these statements are wrong so option d is the correct answer for the fourth question consider the following statements regarding gandhara and mathura school of art so the first statement is mathura school of art produced sculptures of themes related to buddhism only so the first statement is wrong because mathura school of art produced sculptures of themes related to buddhism jainism and vaishnavism Ch- uh, shaivism also second statement is kushana empire played a major role in the development of the gandhara school of art so second statement is also correct coming to the third statement kushana king kanishka's headless statue was produced at mathura so only two and three statements are correct option b 45th question which of the following dynasties patronized the excavation of badami caves so it is chalukyas 46th question consider the following statements regarding nagara architecture and dravida architecture so first statement is the vimana of dravida architecture has a step like structure as compared to nagara style which is curved in shape first statement is correct second statement is dwara palas or door keepers at the entrance are the common features of temples of nagara architecture the second statement is wrong because dwara palakas are the common feature of dravida school of architecture so second statement is wrong coming to the third statement if dravida architecture in dravida architecture 
the garbhagriha of the main temple is sometimes located in one of the smallest towers as it is the oldest part of the temple so only one and three statements are correct option c Forty seventh question. Arrange the following classical Sanskrit literature in chronological order in which they were written, starting from the earliest. So, Natya Shastra was written by Bharata in the first century AD BC to first century AD. Next is Gita Govindam was written by Jayadeva. Uh, in the 12th century AD, Mrichya Katika was written by Shudraka in 248 AD. Uttara Ramacharitam is written by Bhava Bhuti in 700 AD. So, the order is 1, 3, 4 and 2. Option A is the correct answer. 48th question, the newspapers named Mukhnayak and Bahishkrit Bharat were started by, it was, it was started by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. 49th question, which one of the following statements with respect to Babur is not correct? So, first statement is he wrote his Momes in Turkish language. It is correct. He used gunpowder for the first time in capturing the fort of Bira. This is also correct. Second, third option says he is the only Mughal emperor who wrote his own biography. So, it is not correct. Option C is not correct. So, this is the answer. And Babar also defeated Rana Sangha in the Battle of Kanva. 58th question, which one of the following countries has recently proposed the Global Security Initiative? The Global Security Initiative was proposed by China. Option C is the right answer. 51st question, consider the following statements regarding short temples at Mahabalipuram. First statement is it was built by Raja Raja Chola. It was not built by Raja Raja Chola. First statement is wrong. It was re built by Narasimha or uh, Narasimha Varman II or Raja Simha. Second statement is it, it is dedicated to Lord Shiva only. So second statement is also wrong. It is dedicated to Lord Shiva and Vishnu. So both these statements are wrong. So option D. 52nd question with reference to the social conditions during Gupta period, which one of the following statements is correct? First statement is, the women of all castes were denied the right to work and even considered equal to Shudras. So, the first statement is wrong because the women of all castes were allowed to right to work. Okay, so option B is the un untouchability, untouchables are not allowed to listen to the recitations of religious epics of Puranas. So, option B is also wrong. Option C is the practice of Sati was rampant and uh, widow, widows were not allowed to remarry. So, option C is also wrong. So, the answer is option D. That is, the number of castes increased with the assimilation of many tribal people into Brahmanical society through the process of land grants. So, option D is the correct answer. 53rd question. The first discovery of rock painting was made in India in 1867-68 to 68, by which of the following archaeologists? So, it is by Archibald Carlyle. So, option A. 54th question with reference to Kundei, a form of puppetry, consider the following statements. So, Kundei is a puppetry, belongs to Odisha. So, the first statement it gave, it belongs to the state of West Bengal. So, first statement is wrong. Second statement is the puppets are made of light wood and have no legs. So, second statement is correct. So, option B. 55th question with reference to the resignation of IAS officers. Consider the following statements. First statement is an officer serving in a state cadre must submit his or her resignation to the governor of state. So the first statement is wrong because um, an officer of the state cadre must submit his resignation to the chief secretary of the state. Second statement is resignation from service is entirely different from accepting the government's voluntary retirement scheme. Second statement is correct. Third statement is the central government may permit an officer to withdraw his or her resignation in the public interest. So only option B is a correct answer. Two and three statements are correct. 
ఫిఫ్టీ సిక్స్త్ క్వశ్చన్ విత్ రిఫరెన్స్ టు ద రిలీజియన్ డ్యూరింగ్ గుప్తా పీరియడ్ కన్సిడర్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్మెంట్స్ ఫస్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ద గుప్తా పీరియడ్ సా ద రైజ్ ఆఫ్ భగవతిజం సెంటర్డ్ ఆన్ ద వర్షిప్ ఆఫ్ విష్ణు ఇన్ హిజ్ ఇన్కార్నేషన్స్ సో ఫస్ట్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ కరెక్ట్ సెకండ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ ద గుప్తా రూలర్స్ వెర్ స్ట్రిక్ట్ ఫాలోవర్స్ ఆఫ్ హిందూయిజం అండ్ పర్సిక్యూటెడ్ బుద్ధిస్ట్ ఫాలోవర్స్ ఇన్ లాస్ నంబర్ సెకండ్ స్టేట్మెంట్ ఈజ్ రాంగ్ బికాస్ they were tolerant to other religions also so only uh, so second statement is wrong third statement is due to rise of tantrism worship of female deities was introduced in hinduism and buddhism so third statement is correct so only one and three statements are correct option c 57th question with reference to the influence of the central asian powers over india during the post mauryan period that is from 200 bc to 300 ad which of the following statements is not correct first statement they gave is shakas and kushanas introduced better cavalry than mauryan period first statement is correct second statement is they issued gold coins on a wide scale in the indian subcontinent second statement is also correct option c is emergence of mahayana buddhism and idol worship of buddha started during this period yes third statement is also correct option d is the satrap system of government was started by kushanas in india so the third option d is the wrong answer 58th question which of the following components are part of sarnath lion capital first statement is crowning element dharma chakra lotus bell base the shaft the drum on the bell base with four animals preceding clockwise so all these are the components of sarnath lion capital 59th question which of the following features of later religion traditions of ancient india can be traced back to indus valley civilization so image worship image worship is there because in seals we can see pashumati pashupati and other goddesses second is worship at temple so temples are not present so second statement is wrong so eliminate option 2 it is 1 3 and 4 so tree worship is there and ritual bach thing is also there so option b is the correct answer 68th question consider the following statements regarding international criminal court the first statement is it was created under the rome second statement is it is headquartered at hague the third statement is russia is a member of icc so here the major countries like us russia china india ukraine and indonesia are not part of the international criminal court so only one and two statements are correct 61st question in the context of mogal court Karnish, Zambinos, Chahar Taslam were, uh, were forms of. These were the forms of salutation of the, for the rulers. 62nd question. Which of the following statements is or are not correct regarding the art of Indus Valley civilization? So, the first statement is. bronze casting is widely practiced by harappans second statement is every harappan seal was engraved in the pictographic script so both these statements are correct coming to the third statement polychrome pottery and incised ware incised ware are found in abundance in as many shapes and sizes as could be conceived for daily practical use so only first and second statements are correct because these types of polychrome pot- pottery are rare in indus valley civilization coming to 63rd question consider the following statements about karaikal ammayar a woman devotee of early bhakti traditions so first statement is she was a devotee of vishnu she first statement is wrong because she was a devotee of lord shiva second statement is she adopted the path of extreme ascetism in order to attain her goal so only second statement is correct option b 64th question the northern black polished ware face in ancient indian history saw the emergence of which of the following 
first statement is punched mark coins of silver in trade and commerce so first statement is correct second statement is urban centers for the first time in indian history so it is not for the first time the first time was in uh, in the indus valley civilization later on in this northern black polished ware face so this urban centers were second time third is guild system leading to craft specialization so one and three statements are only correct so option b 65th question recently seen in news mission vatsalya has been launched to which of the following reasons so it is to secure a healthy and happy childhood for every child in india 66th question consider the following statements regarding samkhya school of philosophy so first statement is according to it a person can attain salvation through acquisition of real knowledge second statement is the world owns its creation and evolution more to nature to or prakriti than to god third statement is in the beginning the samkhya school of philosophy was materialistic so option d is the correct answer all these are correct 67th question with reference to the self amplifying mrna vaccines consider the following statements so the first statement is these vaccines promise a flexibility of plasmid dna vaccines which enable with enabled immunogenicity and safety second statement is the basic advantage is that it requires a smaller dose than a traditional rna vaccine so option c is the correct answer both 1 and 2 are the correct statements 68th question consider the following pairs regarding the dances of india and their regions so folk dances and states are given lavani dance is the folk, lavani is a folk dance of maharashtra not west bengal so first statement is wrong giddha is a folk dance of punjab bhavai is a folk dance of gujarat so option b 2 and 3 are correct 69th question with reference to the rigvedic period consider the following statements so first statement is cattle rearing was the dominant occupational activity so first statement is correct second statement is yajurveda samhita was compiled during this period so so the second statement is wrong yajurveda samhita was compiled after this period third statement is the most important god during this period was indra so first and third statements are correct option a is the correct answer 78th question with respect to delhi sultanate consider the following statements first statement is he defeated mongols near jhelum and extended power beyond indus up to peshawar so first statement okay next is uh, ibn battuta visited india during his region third statement is he set up diwan e amir e kohi that is department of agriculture to boost cultivation in the doab region so it is muhammad bin tughlaq so option d is the answer 71st question recently seen in news senna spectabilis can be best described as an so it is an invasive plant species 72nd question consider the following statements Uh, about zainul abidin the 15th century ruler of kashmir so first statement is he abolished the jizya and prohibited cow slaughter and gave the hindus important state posts second statement is under his patronage mahabharat and kalhana rajatarangini were translated into persian so both these statements are correct about zainul abidin 73rd state question with reference to panini consider the following he composed ashtadhyaya which is regarded as the great work on sanskrit grammar first statement is correct second statement is his literary works were influenced by his predecessors like varaha mitra and aryabhatta so second statement is wrong only first statement is correct 74th question consider the following page seat of forms and states and union territories are given So first statement is Bhand Pather. So it is from Jammu and Kashmir. March is the theater form of Madhya Pradesh, and Bhavana is the theater form of Assam. So only first statement is correct. So option A. 
सेवेंटी फिफ्थ क्वेश्चन द पर्शियन वर्क रजम नामा इज द ट्रांसलेटेड वर्शन ऑफ विच फेमस इंडियन संस्कृत टेक्स्ट इट इज महाभारता ऑप्शन बी सेवेंटी सिक्स्थ क्वेश्चन विद रेफरेंस टू द पैलियोलिथिक एज कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज ड्यूरिंग द पैलियोलिथिक एज मैन हैड नो नॉलेज ऑफ कल्टिवेशन सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट इज ड्यूरिंग दिस एज द मैन स्टार्टेड डोमेस्टिकेटिंग एनिमल्स so second statement is wrong because in paleolithic age the man has started hunting and gathering so only first statement is correct 77th question with reference to the rulers of gupta period consider the following statements first statement is samudra gupta like ashoka believed in the policy of peace and non aggression as mentioned in the allahabad inscription so the first statement is correct sorry uh, first statement is wrong because both samudra gupta and ashoka were opposite to each other uh, samudra gupta was opposite to ashoka ashoka believed in peace and non aggression but samudra gupta uh, delighted in violence and conquest so first statement is wrong they were opposite to each other and uh, second statement is chandra gupta was the first to adopt the title vikramaditya to mark the victory over kshatrapadas of western india so this second statement is also wrong and so uh, the answer is option d both neither one nor two are correct 78th question with reference to the indian history the term agrahara refers to agrahara means the land grants to brahmanas by royal patronage option a is the right answer 79th question with respect to sufism consider the following pairs so the terms are given and meanings are given so tazkiras tazkiras is the biologic biographical accounts of saints so option uh, first statement first pair is wrong next is maktubat maktubat means the letters written by sufi masters addressed to their disciples and associates so second uh, pair is also wrong next is malfuzat so it is the conversations of sufi saints so only third statement is correct so option c 80th question with reference to the indus valley civilization which one of the following statements is not correct so first so first statement is pit burials were prevalent during the indus valley civilization first statement is correct second statement is indus valley people had established trade relations with the mesopotamian second statement is also correct option c the indus valley people used a standard system of weights and measures so c is also correct option d the indus valley people were unaware about gold no they wore ornaments and bangles made of gold so option d is the wrong answer so the option d any first state question consider the following statements about bhakti saint ramananda so first statement is he substituted the worship of rama in place of vishnu first statement is correct next statement second second statement is he was deeply influenced by writings of kabir so actually kabir was a disciple of swami ramananda so second statement is wrong so only option a 82nd question in the context of ancient indian history in which of the following statements the jorve culture a cal- chalcolithic site existed in india so it is in maharashtra jorve culture existed in maharashtra 83rd question op- so option c 83rd question what is common to the places known as champa shravasti and kaushambi so these were capitals of maha janapadas during the age of buddha 84th question in the context of mogal period consider the following statements about khud kshat khud khast a class of peasants so khud khast is the rich prosperous peasants so first statement is they were peasants who owned the the land they tilled so first statement is correct second statement is they were exempted from paying land revenue so second statement is wrong because they also used to pay land revenues third statement is they were often exploited by muzarians here muzarians are the weaker sections who do not have land and are dependent on khudkast so uh, 
third statement is wrong actually the kut khas were exploited by uh, zamindar so only option 1 is correct so option a for 85th question consider the following statements regarding fatehpur ag sikri agra so first statement is the city is completely built of white marbles so it is wrong because it is built by red sandstone second statement is the bulan darwaza at fatehpur sikri was added after akbar's victory over gujarat so only option 2 is correct so option b 86th question con- <clears throat> consider the following statements with reference to all india household consumer expenditure survey first statement is it is conducted by the reserve bank of india along with the economic census of india so first statement is wrong because all india household consumer expenditure survey is conducted by national statistical office nso first statement is wrong second statement is it collects information regarding expenditure on the consumption of goods and services related to non food items only not only non food items it also conducts survey on food items also so neither one nor two are correct so option d 87th question recently border disputes in northeastern states have surfaced so in this context consider the following statements first statement is arunachal pradesh shares its border with assam only so first statement is wrong because arunachal pradesh shares its border with assam and nagaland second statement meghalaya shares its border with both assam and tripura second statement is also wrong because meghalaya shares its border with assam and bangladesh third statement sikkim shares its border with assam and west bengal so sikkim doesn't share its border with assam it shares its border with assam uh, sorry west bengal bangladesh nepal bhutan and tibet so here none of these are correct so option d 88 question with reference to the 2 plus 2 dialogue consider the following statements so first statement is it is a format of the meeting of foreign and defense ministers of india and its allies on strategic and security issues so first statement is correct second statement is it that present india has 2 plus 2 dialogues with russia and usa only so second statement is wrong because india has 2 plus 2 dialogues with russia usa australia and japan so only first statement is correct so option a 89th question he was one of the greatest rashtrakuta rulers and is said to have built the capital city maniaket so as to excel the city of indra he himself was a great poet and his kaviraja marga is the earliest kannada work on poetics so it is about amoga varsha 1 so option c 90th question consider the following statements regarding the art rock art of bimbetka first statement is the rock art of bimbetka were discovered by the archaeologist v s vakankar first statement is correct second statement is the mesolithic mesolithic paintings of bimbetka are smaller than the upper paleolithic paintings so th- second statement is correct third statement is in mesolithic paintings animals um animals were painted in the naturalistic style whereas humans were depicted only in the stylistic manner so all these statements are correct so option c 91st question consider the following statements regarding khyal a hindustani classical music first statement is khyal singing is more lyrical than drupad first statement is correct second statement is khyal singing is divided into different schools based on vanis so uh, second statement is wrong because khyal singing is divided into different schools based on the gharanas not vanis and drupad singing is divided into different schools based on vanis so only first statement is correct so option a 92nd question consider the following statements regarding the sculptures of medieval india first statement is one of the common features of sculptures of both pallava and chola dynasties was an eternal struggle between the forces of good and evil in which good ultimately triumphed first statement is correct second statement is gajurasura uh, gajurasa maha samhir samha murti a chola masterpiece shows a great goddess durga in a fierce battle demon so here second statement is wrong because uh, gatsura samhara murti 
a chola masterpiece shows the fierceness of lord shiva and vigorous dance of lord shiva so second statement is wrong third statement is pallava scriptures show females in submissive manner with thinner features as compared to their male counterpart so one and three statements are correct so option d the 93rd question consider the following page military designation role first statement is asatvar asatvar me uh, role is cavalry man second pair is arzi mamalik so his role is he is the head of the military department so second pair is wrong third pair is barits barits is intelligent agent so third pair is also correct so first and third pair only are correct so option c 94th question the techniques of tessellation and pitradura were used in which of the following types of architecture it was used in indo islamic architecture 95th question with reference to the ashta pradhan system of administration under shivaji consider the following page so vakenavis officials are given description is given so vakenavis are responsible for the intelligent intelligence posts and household affairs so first pair is correct next is pandit rao pandit rao is in charge of charitable grants second pair is also correct third pair is majumdars majumdars is the accountants and the in charge of justice is called nyayadish so third pair is wrong so option b 96th question with reference to the ancient indian history the terms shreshti shartavaha gandhika refer to so it refers to the types of merchants during the post mauryan period so option d 97th question consider the following statement so first statement is he was a portuguese traveler who visited the vijayanagara kingdom in the 16th century second statement is he compared we compared capital city of vijayanagara with rome third statement is he was given vivid details about irrigational system by pipes and tanks the house of victory or maha navami dibba and the bazaar so it is domingo piles he visited during vijayanagara uh, so he visited vijayanagara kingdom 89 98 the question consider the following statements with respect to mansabdari system so this system was used by akbar in order to maintain a strong army first statement is correct second statement is zat denoted the personal rank of an official and sabar indicated the size of the contingents maintained by the mansabdars so one and two statements are correct but third statement is wrong because mansabdars were paid in the form of assignments of areas of land and also sometimes paid in the form of cash so only one and two statements are correct so option a 99th question consider the following statements first statement is the subject of education is listed in state list so subject of education is education comes under concurrent list of 7th schedule not state list so first statement is wrong second statement is the president of india is the ex officio visitor in case of central universities second statement is correct third statement is the chancellor of the state university appoints a vice chancellors out of the panel of names recommended by search cum selection committees so two and three statements are correct so option b 100th question muhammad Husayn of kashmir also known as zarrin khalam in akbar's court was a he was a calligrapher so option c 